Hello children, welcome to my class. In today's class, we are going to learn how to use I am in a sentence. We are going to construct many sentences using I am. Let us see how to use I am to talk about ourselves and our feelings. The first sentence you can say is I am a boy when you introduce yourself. When you talk about yourself, what do you say? I am a boy. I am not a girl. You have used a positive sentence and a negative sentence. I am a boy is a positive sentence. I am not a girl is a negative sentence. Now if you are a girl, what do you say? I am a girl. I am not a boy. I am good. If you are really good, if you listen to everyone, especially your parents and teachers, and then you are good, then what will you say? I am good. I am not bad. Are you really good? If you are really good, you should say, I am good. I am not bad. But if you are bad, I don't think you are bad. But if you are bad, what will you say? I am bad. I am not good. I am small. I am not big. Now you are just a child. After you grow up, you are going to become big. So what can you say? I am small. I am not big. Your parents are big, right? I am thin. I am not fat. Now you are talking about your personality. If you are thin, what will you say? I am thin. I am not fat. If you are fat, what should you say? I am fat. I am not thin. I am short. I am not tall. Talking about your height now. You are just a child. So certainly you are short. Your parents are taller than you. They are tall, right? So what will you say about yourself? I am short. I am not tall. I am a first grader. You are a first grader, right? If you are a second grader, you can say, I am a second grader. I am a first grader. I am not a second grader. If you are a second grader, you can say, I am a second grader, I am not a first grader. I am thirsty. Now if you feel like drinking water, you want to drink water, what do you say? I am thirsty. I want to drink water. I am thirsty. I want to drink water. Now if you want to eat, you feel like eating. What do you say? I am hungry. I want to eat. I am hungry. I want to eat. I am tired. I want to rest. When do you feel tired? When you play a lot, when you work a lot, you feel so tired. Then you want to rest. So what can you say? I am tired. I want to rest. I am ill. When do you think you are ill? When you suffer from fever. When you suffer from fever, you are ill or sick. So you can say, I am ill or I am sick. I want to take medicines. I am ill. I want to take medicines. I am angry. I am shouting. When you are angry, you feel like shouting. This is really a bad quality. But a sentence can be in this way. I am angry. I want to shout. I am angry. I am shouting. I am sad. Now when you are sad, what do you feel like? You feel like crying. I am sad. I want to cry. I'm sad. 
I am crying. I am happy. Now when you are happy, you feel like smiling and laughing, right? So you can say, I am happy. I am smiling. I am happy. I am smiling. I am bored. Now when you don't want to work, when you don't want to do anything, when you are not interested in anything, you feel bored. So you can say, I am bored. I want to play. I am bored. I want to play. I am fine. Now when do you use this sentence? When someone asks you, how are you? What do you say? I am fine. Thank you. This is how you are going to reply. I am fine. Thank you. I am hurt. Now while playing sometimes you are hurt. You fall down. Or you hit something and you are hurt. So you can say, I am hurt. I am sad. I am hurt. I am sad. I am helpful. Now when you help your brother or sister or parents, that means you are helpful. So you can say, I am helpful. I help my parents. I am helpful. I help my brother. I am naughty. I make noise. Now if you are naughty, you make a lot of noise. You create a lot of problem in your house. But I don't think you are naughty. So, I am naughty. I make noise. Now if you are not naughty, you can say, I am not naughty. I am good. I am not naughty. I don't make noise. I am obedient. I listen to my parents. Now if you are obedient, you listen to your parents, you listen to your teachers and you follow their instructions, right? So are you obedient? If you are obedient, you should say, I am obedient. I listen to my parents and teachers. Now if you are not obedient, what are you going to say? I am disobedient. I am disobedient. I don't listen to my parents and teachers. But I don't think you are disobedient. Are you disobedient or obedient? Give the reply in complete sentence. I am obedient. Yes, I am obedient. Very good children. Now children, let us revise all these sentences once again. You can say after me. I am a boy. I am not a girl. I am a boy. I am not a girl. I am good. I am not bad. I am good. I am not bad. I am small. I am not big. I am small. I am not big. I am thin. I am not fat. I am thin. I am not fat. I am short. I am not tall. I am short. I am not tall. I am a first grader. I am a second grader. I am thirsty. I want to drink water. I am thirsty. I want to drink water. I am hungry. I want to eat. I am hungry. I want to eat. I am tired. I want to rest. I am tired. I want to rest. I am ill. I want to take medicines. I am ill. I want to take medicines. I am angry. I want to shout. 
I am angry. I want to shout. I am sad. I want to cry. I am sad. I want to cry. I am happy. I am smiling. I am happy. I am smiling. I am bored. I want to play. I am bored. I want to play. I am fine. Thank you. I am fine. Thank you. I am hurt. I am sad. I am hurt. I am sad. I am helpful. I help my parents. I am helpful. I help my parents. I am naughty. I make noise. I am not naughty. I don't make noise. I am naughty. I make noise. I am not naughty. I don't make noise. I am obedient. I listen to my parents. I am obedient. I listen to my parents. I am disobedient. I don't listen to my parents. I am disobedient. I don't listen to my parents. So children, you have learnt how to use I am in a small and simple sentence. You can use I am to talk about yourself and your feelings. You had a good practice, right? Now what you are supposed to do is, you should write all these sentences in your book neatly and also practice them orally. Practice saying them aloud. You need to write as well as practice saying them aloud. Did you get that children? So let us meet in another session with another topic. Thank you.